Mama left me in a trap, so I'm never going back. Got a lot of hit in my heart. Like why she play no part. Hello everyone and welcome to our first ever YouTube video. My name's Steven Soji, but you can call me SK Soji or just SK for short. And you're joining me on my trip to the Hakeem Olajuwon basketball camp in Birmingham. It's approximately 35 miles away from Gloucester, uh, 35 miles north in it. But uh, it was a nice trip, the weather was nice. Probably a little bit too hot actually, but I'm not stressing. I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> I booked mine as a residential, which meant that I was staying for five nights, which meant I had to take the train up there on Sunday. While that meant the trains weren't too consistent, at least that meant I had some seats for my bags. And I had a couple of big bags. There weren't any direct trains, so I had to stop in Worcester. I had to switch the setup because the bag was too heavy. You know how it is. We don't go under them. We go around. This is what I'll be playing soon. Come on. I went to the University of Worcester Arena, but there was a wheelchair basketball tournament going. I might do a tour down the line, but for the time being, that's what you get. One thing I will say about Worcester though, it's a beautiful place. It's crazy. There's nice rivers, there's nice trees, there's nice parks, the cathedral's cool, the city center's cool. Everything's nice. Shit, it is better than Gloucester. Cause look at all of this. You don't get this in Gloucester. You get a river, but it isn't like this. To stop giving you a Worcester tour. This isn't a Worcester tour. This is a camp review. Back at the train station. Ready for the second half. Stuck with the Morrison's meal deal. But it's okay. I got back on the train. It was only a 20 minute ride. We're here. Bye train. In a bit. So this is my room, and as you can see, it's kind of like normal Bromsgrove accommodation. The Bromsgrove accommodation is a private school. I've got my own desk, I've got some shelves, I've got my own cupboard, I've got my own nice little bed. I've got some of the Hakeem Olajuwon basketball camp merch, and a bag. I've got my own mirror so I can look at myself nice. And I got my own ensuite. <laughs> and I can look over Brums Grove School. Mine's a nice view. You can't see me smiling, but I'm smiling. <laughs> I missed a bit of content out, but basically, before I went to my accommodation, they gave me my key, my uh, merch bag, and then we just went to a communal area just to talk to that other players. After we chilled for a little while, we went into the sports hall to play. Then we walked to the canteen to get some food. Then after that, we had an evening session and went to bed. Oh, today's been eventful. I've already lost my keys, been destroyed. But all I can say is we move on to tomorrow. A bit of a day one update for you, um, my knees, non-functional, they don't work anymore. Ripping the camp kit, it's reversible but I'm not about to strip for you. We've been split into four different groups in like 16 to 18 age ranges. We're training together, we'll be doing different like um, set plays, different practicing techniques like shooting drills, stuff like that. And um, every single day, we'll be playing one of the other teams. So it'll be like the group stages, and then we'll also have a little tournament at the end. 
and the full regulation, 40 minutes, four quarters. We'll be doing substitutions. Everyone will be playing like at least two quarters, stuff like that. So it's gonna be pretty live. And there are some good bowlers here as well. So it'll be interesting. And they're also recording footage. So tomorrow we'll even be going over said footage to like look at some gameplay, see how we did, how we can get better. Some stupid plays you do in it. So I'm looking forward to it. Here's a bit of a summary from our first full day at the camp. There was a lot of basketball going on today. So I woke up at quarter past six. I got ready. We went into the sports hall at like quarter to seven. And then we played basketball for maybe one and a half hours in the morning before breakfast. I didn't have any breakfast, any food. Um, I just had a Mars bar. <laughs> and then um, we hooped for a bit. Uh, we went to the canteen, got our breakfast for an hour. And then we went straight back into it. We got split into different teams, just started doing some drills within our teams just to get ready for some matches that we played at like four o'clock. Uh, <laughs> there were four teams, so two were playing, two were playing. At four o'clock, there was one team playing. Uh, they got beat by like 20. I'm thinking, okay, so long as we don't get beat by that much, that'll be fine, no problem. We got an hour to get ready, talk within our team, sort ourselves out. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Quarter past five came. We started the match. I was starting. I was supposed to be point guard, quote unquote. Uh, first couple of quarters were going well. We were losing, but I think the score was maybe something like 31-25 or something like that. But they weren't winning by a significant margin. They were only beating us by like seven points. I know I know the scores aren't the same. That doesn't match. But they were only winning by seven points. That's what I remember. Second half, everything goes to shit. Everything. <laughs> no other way to say it. We were just running suicides. We were just running out of there. And we were getting back, trying to defend. They would score. We would go back up the court. I might do a turnover, someone might take a shot, miss it. I might take a shot and airball it. You get me? <sighs> Not ideal. I won't preach acting as if I was doing better than anyone else because I was doing some turnovers, making stupid passes. So I'll, I'll admit that to myself. We were, me and the whole team was just playing bad. Even end of the third quarter, it was, it was kind of, past gone they didn't blow us out like overwhelmingly like nba blowouts i think it was like 25 and for our age group <laughs> that's not ideal so we got defeated so badly that tomorrow they are rearranging our teams and we probably won't play again with each other i mean you cannot argue at the same time that um the team we were playing against they just had a higher skill level as much as i don't like to admit that is it may be true so but the fact is this is probably i wouldn't say it's the first time but i haven't played too many organized basketball games so as much as i made those stupid mistakes i'd rather make them now than later i know that i've got a long way to go before i become the king of the court or become the greatest player ever you get me this is all just building blocks I can make these mistakes now, just so long as I don't make those same mistakes later. On a related note to that though, it shows me how much work I've got to do. Because <laughs> this is crazy. But for the time being, my muscles are sore. I gotta use my back. Massage gun. Uh, yeah. Massage gun. But no worries, we made mistakes. Move on to day two. Day two, I went to the morning session, which consisted of doing some shooting drills. I set an alarm for quarter past six, got up, took a shower, got ready, and then got into the sports hall for seven o'clock. The funny thing is, if you miss the seven o'clock time, you were not allowed in, so you needed to be punctual. It weren't overly intense just because we hadn't had breakfast yet but I did at least have a snack beforehand. After that, we had an hour to have breakfast. 
Then we had some team training, running some things. This is what lunch is saying. Everyone say what well, one. Then from about 1.30, we got back into our teams, did some more drills, and then got ready for our matches, which were at 4 o'clock. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Can you tell that I used to sing? No. It's Tuesday, and I'm officially injured. Not ideal. When I arrived at the camp on Sunday, the side of my right knee was feeling a little bit tight, which I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, it was tight for a bit. I came in. I played a few games. It was all right for the most part. Uh, it was good on Sunday. Monday was hurting a little bit, but today <laughs> I can barely run in it. It's not ideal. Our team is playing a match today, and I will not be involved in it. I'm sure they'll do fine without me, but at the same time, I would much rather be playing. I'll set out today. I'll try and record a bit of them, but we'll see how it feels tomorrow. See if I'm able to play. Hopefully. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I'm spending 475 quid on this camp. For what? The good thing is, the food's so nice, I'll give it a solid 8. I'm quickly depleting my snack box as well. Not ideal. Mama left me in a chat, so I'm never going back. Got a lot of hate in my heart, like why she playing no part. Go all in like a baby Like guy in the truck, the car push start Call me too, too tight But right now I'm in a shorty With two phones and a hottie I ain't coming home if they stop me Car all I'm here is my right So I pay it safe like I'm muzzy Don't wanna hear section nothing Cause 23 be the end of me So you gotta know that it's no game Officer, I know no names And I don't know if that's cocaine But that's all life in the fast lane Gotta flip the script, make it all change You'll stay the same, feel more pain Be stuck on the station on more days Grind all day, I need more money Never wanted any fame Mama left me in the trap So I'm never going back Got a lot of hate in my heart Like why she play no part Go all in like a baby And I'm guiding each other, can't push start Call me too, too tight But right now I'm in a shorty With two phones and a hottie I ain't coming home if they stop me Car all I'ma hear is my right But my new phone up my bra She want two dark and one light Same shit Ooh Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah like Lucifer's in my mind, it's like I see a face in the white The fiends be calling my phone, it's like I'm, I'm doing okay, the road on Quick time out, one thing I will say though This guy, number 89, he was cooking us the whole camp His name's Flynn Wake, he's like 6'3", 6'4", something like that And he was dunking everything I wish I recorded more clips of him, but it's calm Anyway, continue Night. It's 4 o'clock, I'm just getting in The man is asking me why but she don't wanna know why So I got a lie Nice! Come on! Mama left me in a trap So I'm never going there back you go. Got a lot of hate in my heart Like why she play no part Go all in like a baby Easy! Kind of Come on! Push start. Call me two, two times But right nice. now I'm in a shorty With two phones and a hottie I ain't coming home if they stop me in car All I'ma hear is my right Move round, move round, move round. So, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. There you go. After we played our matches, we had dinner. And then to finish off the day, we played some 3v3 games. Oh, oh, oh. That was that a goal ten? That was a goal ten. Um, a bit of a day two update. My accent is beginning to change from speaking to too many Brummy people. Training's gone good. My knee's still hurting. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. But one thing I will say actually, it's nice to be around other people who like basketball so much. It's crazy. It's like even if we aren't from the same place, we're speaking the same language, if you get me. 
because for the most part we've all gone through similar experiences playing basketball getting injured getting our ankles broken playing against some like crazy players ones who can dunk who can do like windmills or something like that and people who we aren't able to guard are people who we've destroyed in games so it's just amazing to feel like in the UK there are a lot of different basketball players but I feel like sometimes they can seem like they're few and far between especially if you're not from like London Birmingham or somewhere like Manchester you feel like there aren't too many other bowlers around and you're not really able to find those different opportunities for new people but in reality that's not entirely true because there are so many different basketball players even where I live in Gloucester it sometimes it doesn't feel like it but even if I go to the park in the city center the park nearby to me I'll be able to find a new person who's interested in the sport with that being said though I'm going to sleep on to day three